Reneus and Scar Lowy work on the most beautiful line on the island of Sodor. They love to puff through the forests and over the rivers. An old bridge crosses one of the rivers. Some of its beams were rotten and had now been damaged by the storm. Scar Lowy chuffed happily along. He didn't see the broken rail until it was too late. He dangled dangerously above the water. Help! But Reneus soon pulled him to safety. A few days later, Sir Topham Hatt came to the sheds. The old bridge has been mended, but the workers' freight cars have been left there. Scarloe, I need you to collect them. Yes, sir, chuffed Scarloe. He didn't want to go on the bridge again. When Scarloe arrived, he saw the freight cars on the other side. He started to cross, but stopped. He looked down into the rushing water. Scarloe was scared. He remembered what had happened before. Come on, Scarloe, called his driver. The bridge is safe now. But Scarloe wouldn't cross the bridge. And he and his driver went home instead. We'll pick up the freight cars, said Reneus' driver. But if you don't cross the bridge soon, said Reneus, Sir Top of Hat will be cross. Now, Reneus had to take Scarloe's loads as well as his own. Each morning, he collected the freight cars and puffed across the bridge with his heavy load. Finally, Sir Topham Hat came to see Scarloe. If you won't cross the old bridge, you must stay here and shun freight cars, he scolded. I can't have engines that won't do as they're told. Sorry, sir said Scarloe sadly. The next morning, Reneus took Scarloe's heavy freight cars as usual. Then he puffed and heaved through the countryside towards the bridge. He puffed so hard that he ran out of water. Bother! The yard manager spread the news. Reneus has broken down. We must go help him, said Scarloe bravely. He set off immediately. Scarloe was scared, but determined. He rolled slowly up to the edge. The bridge creaked loudly. The river seemed deeper than ever. I must rescue my friend, whispered Scarloe. He chuffed slowly onto the bridge. The bridge groaned as he rolled forward, but Scarloe puffed on and on. And finally, his driver coupled up and pulled Reneus to safety. Thank you, said Reneus. You were very brave to help me. Scarloe is no longer afraid of the bridge, and he loves his journeys more than ever. <laughs>